Hi guys, I thought I would share some of the journals that I've made using the cereal box uh, technique that I showed you the tutorial a few um, weeks ago. I haven't made very many before I disappeared off into other projects, but I thought I would show you what I have done um, in terms of adapting either the wrapping of the boxes or the binding, just to give you some idea of what you can actually do with it. So here's the first one. Um, what I've done is these lovely ribbon closure. I'll open it up so you can see it all. Um, I did the same wrapping with the what do I call it? The pinch and the glue and pinch technique, where you use um, some scrap paper to create this nice texture. And then I just painted it um, with peaches and lemons. Um, very very quickly, just sprayed some of this the paint on. And then I did this stencil, stenciled girl across the whole of it, so she goes from back to front, or from front to back rather. And then these have come off an old belt, so I thought I'd make it into her belt down the bottom, leading the ribbon through so that it comes through to join the top, to close it off with. And then I just put these brads in, these really nice large brads, um, to hold the ribbon in place. I didn't want it to be you know accurate and it wants it to be over here so it's quite nice um, being a little off centre so that's the first one and it's done with um, I guess my version of an Italian long stitch binding the second one um, is kind of like a graffiti art but I didn't do the glue and pinch technique I just decoupaged some newspaper and you can see the newspaper coming through onto it to make it kind of sturdy, sturdy board um, and then I just used this as a closure with the elastic and I put on this quote, every artist was first an amateur and it's a quote by Emerson and if I open this out you can see that I kind of let the text show through, I'm quite a big fan of allowing layers to show through and then I just used stencils stencils and things to show and then this girl is done on a 1937 French text page one of my favourite um, art techniques at the moment just to draw directly onto text pages and into this binding I put this brass or metal whatever it is um, piece that is again from another belt and off of the same belt I included these these wooden beads and then lots of yarn and fibres and things from leftover projects and this is filled with um, well, I haven't shown you the insides, the insides again just some stamps, scrap pieces of paper the same as I did on the original tutorial um, and then this paper is 100% recycled really nice white paper and then a bit of bling and then the final one that I did is kind of going in the same vein as the last one. Oh, my dangles are getting caught. Um, it's kind of in the same technique with the newspaper covering it and then having some stencils on, but it's a lot more jewel plastic. There's jewels everywhere on this. These large metal things are again off a belt. <laughs> they all seem to be off of belts. And then I've got some puffy heart dangles up here um, because the quote on this one is a loving heart is the truest wisdom and that one is by Dickens um, so again you can I've got added some texture I don't know if you can see this some freehanded painting as well as a stencil and then some texture by getting some gesso with a, a, a palette knife and just scraping it through and this one you really can see doesn't look like you can see it very well on the on the camera, but you really can see all of the the writing coming through, and I love that. I think that's great. Um, and again, just elastic around these to hold them into place. And on the spine this time, I've added jewels. I love my dangles. If you haven't noticed by now, jewels from an old necklace. This. I've got it from my best friend. I don't remember where she got it from off of off of something that she was throwing away. I can't remember. The chandelier type thing. 
and then this is from another old necklace actually the same necklace that I actually used in the original tutorial all those dangles that were on the butterfly on the front the dangles that came down that was the remaining bit of it I do use every single scrap of everything up <laughs> I can't face myself if I don't and then this lady here is on a 18, uh, 1918 German text page and I just love seeing the the different texts, it just looks so exotic, the text on this one. So that's the three journals. I'll probably have to start making some more soon because um, I've eaten a lot more cereals, <laughs> so I'll have to probably make some more. But I just wanted to show you these three just to see how you can use different elements um, in it and you don't have to use the same binding or you don't have to use the same um, covering of the boards as I showed you you could just easily just use um some paper just to to make some scrap paper to make it um to make it sturdy and on the inside again some, some things that I've stitched and used for the projects. So just use and it is it's a very solid very solid um journal just because of the layers. So I hope it's given you some ideas and I will put the link to the original tutorial down in the bar below and um, these are available in my Etsy shop so I'll put the link to my Etsy shop and um, my blog as well down below. Alright, see you later, bye!